Fraser Island is renowned for its unsurpassed natural beauty. The largest sand island in the world, with an area of over 1,800 square kilometres, it was added to the UNESCO World Heritage Register in 1992 in recognition of its outstanding natural values. Two million years in the making, the island is a unique mosaic of mangrove forests, wallum and coastal heath, patterned fen peat swamps, eucalypt woodlands and majestic rainforests growing on sand. The island's sands also act as a filter for the largest unconfined freshwater aquifer in the world. This supplies many running crystal clear creeks and almost half the world's perched dune lakes. Fraser Island is known as Gari, meaning paradise in the local Butchula language. Cultural connections to the island date back more than 6,000 years, a connection that the Butchula people still maintain today. A -boo, a -boo, a -boo. But economic and development pressures have made their mark on the island. Sand mining and logging activities from the late 19th century resulted in changes that are still visible today. Although both activities were abolished in the latter part of the 20th century, the island is still exposed to a range of threat, including degradation from over 350,000 visitors and their vehicles a year, fire, invasive weeds and pests like the cane toad and pandanus leaf hopper, and climate change. In 2005, the Burnet Mary Regional Group convened a workshop with the island's stakeholders, including the island's land manager, Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service, to discuss how to work more collaboratively on weed management. Out of the workshop came FINIA, Fraser Island Natural Integrity Alliance, an umbrella group for all the partners linked by a common desire to protect and restore the natural integrity of Fraser Island together. Ten seconds, uh, it'll be almost ready to go. The biggest problem we had with Fraser Island though was the issues relating to tenure. We had national park, we had unallocated state land, we also had two different councils which have now amalgamated. So the idea was to bring all those stakeholders together to really come up with an action plan on how to move forward. You can't achieve much without collaborating or cooperating with other people and I think Finia is a great example of where a whole group of uh, lots of different types of people with lots of different interests come together under one umbrella to just talk about what can be done, be can be done best for, for the island and uh, like in our bachelor law you know the first one is what's good for the land comes first and so on a, I honestly believe that all of the groups that participate under Finia in some way or other um, um, you know, align with that Bachelor Law about trying to do what's best for the land. and The main reason I'm here is to represent George Haddock and the National Parks Association of Queensland. Uh, and because Fraser Island is the largest or the most well visited national park in Queensland, and uh, I think it needs more support from uh, everyone, including our, the, the association I belong to. Finney is kind of tied all the groups together. We were working at Sandy Cape completely by ourselves. We didn't have a clue what was going on at Yurong or Happy Valley. Um, and we've, we've met with those groups and um, we've talked with them and we've seen what they're doing. So we, we know what, what they're doing. Um, they know what we're doing. Um, we can exchange ideas on techniques, uh, etc. So Finia ha has tied that together. Uh, groups coming together and work and sharing ideas. We can achieve so much more because we know now what the council are doing when they're doing their council spraying programs and in fact on our last weeding project that Fido had in here in Yurong uh, we had a uh, we discovered some weeds that were in our capacity to deal with but it's on council land and the, we do, took a GPS reading just emailed it through to the uh, Fraser Coast Regional Council and they dealt with the uh, problem. So that we're now actually coordinating and achieving so much more because we're working in concert. Uh, ten years ago when I came here for the weeds workshop, that was my first visit to Fraser Island. 
and uh, my love for this island has grown not just with the island but with the people that have a passion for it.